My name is Jared Lewison, and I am working on my problem solving denture. For the project, I have to come up with a denture made of something unusual, and I decided to do a throwback to the olden days back when I was a kid, so I'm making Play Doh today. Uh, the recipe is pretty easy actually. Uh, you just start with two cups of flour and one cup of salt, and then two cups of water. a little bit of vegetable oil, about a tablespoon, and turn the heat on to medium and stir. Now, just so you know, uh, this is a better alternative to regular Play-Doh because this Play-Doh is made of all natural ingredients. However, it is not gluten-free and is very high in sodium, so I still recommend not eating it. But like I said, I'll just mix this up for about five minutes over medium heat, and by then it should be ready and we'll add the food coloring afterward. All right, we just got the Play-Doh off the stove. I uh, needed it for, stirred it for about five minutes, probably actually a little bit shorter because I got tired of stirring it, kind of hard to stir. And this is what we got. Uh, as you can see, it looks kind of bland and boring. So we're gonna add some food coloring. And I've been going back and forth over what color to do it, red or blue, and it's gonna have to be blue. Uh, in order to do this much Play-Doh, I'm probably gonna need about 20 drops of this to give it the right color. And to save TJ's kitchen, I'm gonna uh, stir this in a bag, knead it in a bag, and that way I'm not making a huge mess. But yeah, there's that blue in there. As you can see, that's looking real nice. And you know, you can't get too blue, so we'll just, we'll just keep putting it in there. Now, here comes the, the fun part. I'm gonna need this bag for however long it takes until that color gets consistently in there. And after that, we'll be ready to make the denture. All right, as you can see, our Play-Doh is done. It turned out a wonderful blue color. And all that's left to do now is uh, apply it to the model and make the denture. So first things first, I'm gonna put a little bit of Pam on here. Uh, I'm kind of worried about it sticking to this, so this, this might help just a little bit. Uh, just with the removal. And we'll take a little bit off. It's still a little stickier than usual. Um, the Play-Doh works better if you let it uh, sit for a little while. So I'm gonna put a little bit of paint on my hands as well just to, just so it isn't, it isn't sticking too bad. Um, gonna knead it a little bit. Uh, I wish you could feel it. This is great stuff right here. Um, definitely a quality recipe. So, now we'll just put this on here. Not sure if you can see that very well, but it's uh, it's working out pretty, pretty nicely. I'm gonna put a little more panel on my hands. Cause that stuff definitely helps out. 